Good afternoon. Welcome to our You Are At Home live tour of Humphreys Hall. Um, my name is Courtney Soulsby. I'm a student here at the University of Arkansas. I'm about to start my sophomore year as a nursing major. I'm super excited. Um, I'm actually from Fayetteville, so feel free to ask any questions. Um, we'd be more than happy to answer them. You can just hit the comment button while the video is going on and afterwards, and we'll be sure to answer whatever you guys would like. I'll do my best to read them out, and Courtney will answer them for you. Yes. And we're glad to have you join us. Yeah. So we're right now on the outside of Humphreys. Mm -hmm. um, before we go in, I just want to point out like, how great of a location this really is to be in. Um, over here you can see this is Bruff Dining Hall, mm -hmm. which is a great dining hall um, that's open basically the whole day. So whenever you have a gap in your schedule, it's a great place for you to go eat. Tons of options. I love Bruff. Um, we have three dining halls on campus, Bruff, Palm Frit, and then on the north end of campus, we have Fulbright Dining, which is located yes. sort of the northwest quad. Yes, be sure to get some ice cream while you're in there because it's fantastic. Um, it's also a really great location because um, if you don't know what Club Red is, it's this little convenience store that we have throughout campus. There's one right around the corner. It's right under Bruff. Right around the corner there. Yep. It has snacks and drinks and... Um, Scantrons for your tests, which you're going to need throughout the year. So that's a really great place to go to get that stuff. Um, we also have Slim Chickens is right over here in the bottom of Founders, um, as well as where the Wild Greens are and Rocket Taco. You can meal train at all of those places at night. So this is a really good spot to be in for food. As far as classes go, the Walton Business College is literally right there. It is mm -hmm. like a to our east. 30 second walk from here. Um, Kimball is also right over here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, over here we have Gregson, which is a good building to be close to because they have Class Plus in the bottom in the basement of Gregson, which is um, a place where you can go to get any you know resources that can help you with academic stuff. Um, Gregson is one of those halls that a lot of upperclassmen live in because their second year they're like, oh, I want to live right next to uh, the central part of campus. Yeah, so it's a good one for that. Yes, this is a really great spot to be in on campus. Um, the stadium's right over there, so you're kind of right in the middle of all of it. Gives you a really good view once you get inside. Nice. We'll head inside to Humphreys. We've got nine people watching. Feel free to tell us where you're from. We'd love to say hello to you yeah. as you follow along with us. Oh, let's get the fob going. <laughs> Here you go. So we do have a really um, a cool security system. Just everyone that loves this building will have a phone. Just talk to your phone. Really convenient. Here, I'll take those keys. Yeah. And so you saw the outside area that we were in. Right. And there's another one on this side. That was the north side. We're on the south side of the building now. Outside, this is a really good spot to hang out. You could have picnics or yeah, let me give an overview of it. Or study. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool There's Yoakum right there um, and all its 10 floors of glory. <laughs> yeah. There we go. This is where um, you will be parking when you come to move in. I'll show that off. Yep, there's your parking lot area. Fantastic. So two uh, outside areas, on yes. the north and on the south side of the building. Yeah. It's always nice to have. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we head back in. Okay, great. Hello. Well, hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Hi. You mind uh, introducing yourself to everybody? Yeah. My name is Grace Kerpassi. I'm the coordinator of Humphreys Hall, so you'll see me around all the time. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, you're also going to see, fun fact, we have a Humphreys mascot, and her name is Ella, and she's an adorable lab mix, and she loves people, so she'll be very excited to see you guys, too. Nice. Come meet Ella when you arrive. Yes, That's absolutely. Great. Now, did you um, explain what a CRE is you may have? Uh, no, a CRE, uh, that's Coordinator for Residence Education. So basically what I'm here for is to advocate and support all of you guys in Humphreys Hall, build you guys up as a community, help you with academic success and personal development, and help you guys experience your first year here at the University of Arkansas. 
Fantastic. Thank you. Will you join us as we take our tour? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Please feel free to chime in with anything. All right. So here we are in the lobby. Yeah. So whenever you get packages, um, mm -hmm. this is where you will come pick them up at this desk. They will send you an email, actually, um, if you have a package come in. Oh, all the green. There's a lot of uh, plants on that mm -hmm. desk. I like it. I like it. Nice touch. Yes, it is. Um, I'll show you guys where you will pick up mail. It's not a package. Mm -hmm. So here's the mailboxes. You will also get an email um, telling you which mailbox is yours and the code to access them. Great. I think there's two banks of mailboxes, is that right? I'm sorry? Is there's one mail there's one bank of mailboxes here and then there's another one yes. in there? So, so this one is set for found, or for Humphreys Hall. Mm -hmm. And then the one on in the great room, which is on the east side of the building, is actually set for Founders Hall. So anyone that's in a Founders Residence Hall, which is north uh, east of our building, you'll come over here and pick up packages and all of your mail. Fantastic. Thanks for explaining that. So we'll head on down and look at some more of the stuff on the first floor. Oh, in your office. Yes, welcome to my mm -hmm. office. So feel free to stop by anytime. I always have Get to... your little door in there if you don't mind. Yes, all of my okay. decorations. Nice, nice. Feel free to stop by anytime. I always have, always have uh, coffee, tea, snacks, um, and sometimes Ella's there, so mm -hmm. have a sneak mm -hmm. peek with her. Uh, Mackenzie asks, uh, do you know when we are supposed to find out about parking? I'm assuming that's going to be resident reserved parking mm -hmm. or opportunities to be in the parking deck. Those should be coming up very soon. Yes. Very soon. And they should send you emails with that information mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So what are we looking at here? This is normally um, a spot for you to study. They're using it for storage right now, but mm -hmm. by the time you guys get here, it'll be set up to where you can come in. You can use this whiteboard. You could study in here with your friends, do homework. Just however you'd like to use it. All kinds of study space, yeah. There's another good spot over here. This is also a really great room to study in. Mm -hmm. um, it's a good space to hang out if you want to. There's another whiteboard that you can use. Um, those really come in handy once you start studying in groups. Sure. We yeah. actually have some stuff going on right there. It looks like elasticity. Yep. Yes. And maybe some science. I think there's science in happening. Yeah. A lot of students come in here um, for study groups that they have from their floors. Mm -hmm. um, or they also use this space for recreational meetings. So it could be anything from Bible studies for our, or a registered student organization that you're a part of. You guys can use this space to meet as well. Sure. Lots of community spaces for them yes, to kind of, of meet even in small groups, not just the big great room space yes. which we're going to look at. Absolutely. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, um, in fact, is that our next stop on the tour? Is the, yes. the, the big room in here? So those of you who are watching, uh, can you tell us where you're from? We'd love to know. We're always interested to see where people are from who are coming to live in the halls this August. That's a big chalkboard. Oh yeah, and typically during the year, uh -huh. um, we'll post uh, upcoming events on this chalkboard to your left or to this chalkboard to your right. We'll have like a monthly calendar and it'll show oh. you um, what intramurals we have going on with Humphreys Hall, any type of programs, events, activities that we're affiliated with, you'll always see on these two boards. Nice. Hey Bob from Arlington, Texas. Glad to have you. Mackenzie from Dallas, Texas. Hello. Glad you're gonna be joining us. I'll, I'll hold the door and let okay. you go in first. Thank you. Sure. So this is a big, big space as you can see. <laughs> They're currently back to the floors, but normally all of this furniture is spread out in here, so it's a great place to hang out. You can watch TV, um, meet new people. You can also study in here if you wanted to, if you're a little too loud. Sure, let me catch up with you here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big space. <laughs> it's Voices a big caring. Place. Big TV right there, it looks like. It's an 80 inch TV. Also, that's where the founder's mailboxes are, okay. right here. Um, just to say, a sneak peek of that. Sure. Often, a lot of students come in here to play games. Um, so, what our hall is known for is we have a lot of international students, as well as the music living learning community um, and the English and literature living learning community. And so a lot of times they'll come down here as a group and play games and invite all the other hall members to come by 
Um, so typically this room is packed. Mm -hmm. Very social, that's awesome. Yes. Um, Barb says, uh, she's from McKinney, Texas. Her son is living in Pomfret, no tour this year, boo-hoo. I get it. Uh, yeah, uh, check out our 16 uh, tour and our 17 tour, and we'll be back online to do a one and, and of course, 19. Um, Raphael is from Brazil. He lived there in 2014. Yes, fantastic. Glad to have you tune in, Raphael. All right, um, any other things to point out in this gigantic yes. space? Mm -hmm. um, behind the stack of furniture <laughs> that'll be fixed before you move in of course. is our famous piano. Okay. Um, we have a lot of musicians in here, and even if you aren't a mu musician, we have a lot of um, great creative opportunity to come in here and practice your instruments as well. Um, we also have a foosball table, a ping pong table, and a pool t table over there. Mm -hmm. um, and any equipment that you'd like to um, reserve or rent out, you can actually go back to the front desk and just use your student ID and you can swipe it and trade it and you'll be able to get all the equipment for okay. games. And, and do you have board games as well? Yes, we have a, a lot of board games. We have movies to rent as well. Mm -hmm. um, and all the information will be on Hogsync, which um, if you haven't been introduced to Hogsync, that's where you're going to find a lot of your social events, how to get invested, and how to get involved on campus. So be sure to stay connected on Hogsync. Join us on um, the Humphreys Hall Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, and also on Hogsync. That's where you'll be able to find most of our events and um, how to reserve all this um, equipment right. and whatnot. Very good. Okay, well, let's continue to take our tour of Humphreys Hall. There's, a, I guess, a wall of trophies there from past glories in the hall. I love how colorful it is in here. Yeah, it's a fun color scheme. I like it a lot too. So we're about to go down to the basement area, I think. Yes. Alright. That's a nice one. Laundry 101. Never is too soon to learn how, right? Right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, the laundry room is it's, this way, way, actually. Always good. There you go. Lead us into there. <laughs> so we're going to show laundry. Yeah. We've got TVs and tables, and okay. then, of course, laundry washing Sure, sure. An ice machine that you can all use whenever you like. Um, the University of Arkansas has this really cool system called Laundry Alert. Um, if you see these scan here stickers that are on every machine, you can use those. We have apps, Laundry Alert apps, which tell you when machines are open so you don't have to come down here and check. Um, they also tell you if you just put in which machine you're using, it will let you know when your clothes are finished. So you also don't have to sit down here and wait for them. So it's really convenient, it's a really great system. Um, definitely use it so you don't have to sit down here and wait for your laundry. And what do you use when you were doing your laundry? You did it once a week, use pods, Tide use powder, pods. what do you use? Tide pods are easy. Um, I would definitely recommend them. Okay. Just, just throw a couple in there. Sure, sure. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. All right. Head on down here and I think there's some vending over here to the right. To the right is our classroom and all the okay. cream. Yeah, sure. There's a good spot for recycling. Right, we'll point out that recycling space too. Yes. So vending, I guess there's vending in every hall really. Yeah. It probably gets heavily used. And we now accept uh, Apple Pay, so you can use your watches and phones to pay if you wish to. And then we have these water stations in every building, which are great because this tells you how many water bottles what are we we've at? saved. And Almost to 6,000. There is a water bottle filling station on every floor in Humphreys. Um, so you can just, it's right in the middle of your lobby, which we'll probably see in this. Sure. And then the recycling itself, this is the main recycling center, is yes. that right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Great. So would this, would a um, student, would they uh, be bringing their stuff down here? Yes, typically, um, unless it is trash, we do have trash chutes mm -hmm. um, that you'll just take your personal trash, 
into and just drop it down and then but if you have plastic newspaper regular paper aluminum or cardboard mm -hmm. you can bring it down here um, and we'll recycle it for you okay fantastic and then this space right here you were saying is uh... this is uh, the Humphreys classroom Typically, it's used with the living learning communities, and if you don't know what a living learning community is, um, it's a common ground space where students actually choose to live in a hall where other students are similar to them, have same majors or same uh, commonalities, and then they get to participate in extracurricular activities with those um, academic departments. Um, so, like I said before, the music LLC is in here. Um, and they typically use a lot of the space for their own programming and typically during the school year we just leave the space open and if anyone wants to come down in here and study or do small study groups uh, they also do that as well. Great, great. I mean, that's a theme that I keep hearing again and again there's lots of community space in this building. Yes, absolutely. That is, Humphreys is well known as just a really tight-knit group every single year every single year people come back and back and again and they're like oh I love Humphreys Hall I always felt connected um, which is my own pride and joy of, of living here as well is that I really enjoy getting to be so connected with the students and typically that happens because of you all leaving your door open trying new things and just getting to know one another which is the best part about college so great advice uh, so we'll head upstairs then, or is there anything else on this floor? Nope, that, that's pretty much it. Okay, we're going to head to the top of the top of the building. Haley, you're right, Pomfret is ginormous. It is a ginormous building. And there's really three wings to it, so it's a pretty big space. Hey, how are you? Pretty good, how about you guys? All right, all right. We're giving our live tour. <laughs> Right. And we get to uh, we get to wait on the elevator, which is something that you know happens every now and then in this building. Mm -hmm. It's better than taking are. the stairs all the time. Right. Can you imagine a nine-story walk up? Yeah. Uh, sometimes when we get in the elevator and go up, we lose connection a little bit. So just be aware that may happen. Yeah. Um, you're from you're from Fayetteville, you said. Yes. What is like the top three things you have to do in Fayetteville? <sighs> Drive in movie theater. Okay. For sure. Personally, it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, you have to go to Dixon Street. You okay. can't say you live in Fayetteville and then go to Dixon Street. Right. And Mount Sequoia. Mount it's Sequoia. Also my favorite. So, do you hike up Mount Sequoia or do you just drive up there? I drive or what do you up like to there. Do? I like to bring food and have picnics a lot. That's really fun. <laughs> I just go up there for the lookout because it's a good stress reliever. It's a great view. Wonderful. So, here we are on the ninth floor, the top of the building. Um, here's the study room. There's one of these on every floor. There's somebody in here making out. Hello. Hey. Hey, Steve. How's it going? Hey. So We're just going to show off this space in yeah, here. Yeah. It's a great place to hang out. Let's see. Yeah. And study. Mm-hmm. Um, you can sit there and eat. Yeah, and you get a good view out of here. Out of there. Uh, we had a question from Mackenzie about which is the closest airport to the university or in Fayetteville. And I would say that generally XNA is the, the Northwest Arkansas Airport is the main airport. Though occasionally people will use Drake if they're flying in like on a personal aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, generally XNA. Although um, don't people use the, the Joplin Airport a little yeah, bit. I would typically uh, say most of our international students or students that are looking for a cheaper flight use the Tulsa Airport, mm -hmm. which is about an hour and a half to two hours away. Uh, typically, you're going to find your most um, low price and, and um, more international flights and easier connections from Tulsa. Mm -hmm. um, and then sometimes XNA as well, but those are going to be a little bit more high cost. Mm -hmm. um, and it's about an hour and a half from here. Mm -hmm. Tulsa, roughly. And here's another one of our um, water filling stations. Great, great. We're going to go peek into a bathroom, I think. Yes. And you can see they're putting out, there's uh, air filters here. They're changing out the air filters. We're getting ready for you to come. As you can see, there's two stalls over here and two showers inside of here. Okay, I'll go ahead and give a little view. Now there are, I believe, correct from wrong here, 
there are four bathrooms like this on each floor. Mm -hmm. yes. yes, that is correct. So um, each little wing of Humphreys, so there's four bathrooms and each is located in the wing of Humphreys. And so that's because this side of Humphreys will typically be a male or female space and those students will use this space. And then on the other side, there's gonna be another bathroom that is gonna be gender specific to those students. Okay, yeah. So that's how we make floors co-ed. Yes. To give them um, bathroom spaces that are based on gender. Yes. Okay. Uh, Chris asked, does Pomfret have the water flag stations too? It does. Mm -hmm. We have them all around. So in here, I think, are the stalls for the bathroom. Yes. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. No reason to go in there. But we'll uh, check out maybe the showers. Yeah. Um, Mackenzie asks, how crowded do the showers get in the morning around here? You know, I never really had a problem as far as, you know, getting a shower open when I wanted to take a shower. And where were you? I lived in Reed. Okay. okay. But I never really heard anyone complain about showers not being available to them, so for the most part. I lived in Pomfret um, a while, mm -hmm. a long time ago, and um, as you notice, there are six rooms to a bathroom and so you're going to have a different schedule than a lot of your your residents and your in your community and so it's going to be dependent upon their schedules we really never have a problem and you really do get to know people a lot better because if you are on the same schedule you're going to be brushing your teeth with those people and changing and doing all those things and so um there's more of a community vibe with that and you get to know your friends schedules on your floor so you're like oh well i know that you know sarah isn't is going to be showering so i'm not going to go in there because i'm going to wait for my turn so it, there has a, there is a system typically mm -hmm. that takes place that you guys decide on so and you know, I've only been in housing for about three or four years. One of the things I've heard and have observed is that in the halls where you have a community bathroom like this, where people just you know share the bathroom even in a small community, they really get to know each other. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it's nice to have a bathroom in your in your suite, and we do offer those kind of options. But there's something to be said for you know seeing someone every day in the bathroom. And, hey, what's going on? Yeah. So um, one of the things that a lot of students forget about is that these bathrooms get cleaned twice a day, every day. Um, in the suites, you're on your own. You got to clean up your own mess. Um, so that's something that a lot of our students really like is that they can come in here to a clean restroom and not really have to worry about purchasing more toilet paper or running out of paper towels or anything like that. It's already provided for them. So that is a perk in a lot of students' um, first year experience away from home. The question we got before was about hand sanitizers. Mm -hmm. And what we do offer is soap, yes. but I don't think we offer like Purcell hand sanitizer. We don't, that's not something that we offer. Um, there is actually dispensers in the lobby okay. for hand sanitizer, but they're not in every restroom. There's just soap, and like she said, they provide paper towels and gotcha. toilet paper. So. Right. Well, let's go check out a residence hall room. See what it's like to live here. We'll go this way. It's a really great view out this window. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do we got here? Here's a bigger one. There's the stadium. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a really good look. Can you all see that? I hope so. There's the stadium right there. And then just the Ozark Mountains. Mm -hmm. Gentle, green, beautiful mountains out there. Hills, kind of. <laughs> I love it. We're going to head into room 922. Okay. So each room's going to have two beds two desks, two sets of drawers, and bookshelves. And then, of course, you have your two sets of drawers right here. Each have your own closet. Mm -hmm. um, this is a good example of a lofted bed. So when you move in, your bed's going to be more set up yeah, like, like this, this one. Yeah, like this. Show them that one. And if you would like to get it lofted, you can just send in a request online, and housing will do that for you. You can also do it yourself. Um, we request bringing your rubber mallet. Makes it easier to say what to do it. But yeah. This is how high up it can go. There's a few more notches, actually. So, mm -hmm. and that's a note that we came in. Uh, someone submitted a request through housing.uart.edu forward slash fix it, and they asked that it was lofted. So this piece of paper says, "Hey, we lofted it for you." Yeah. We can honor those uh, for square first come first serve, but get it in by July 30th, and we should be able to really get it done for you. Yeah. So this is a good option if you, of course, need more storage. Some people put 
little couches under here, or beanbag chairs. Mm, um, futons, I see yeah. all kinds of different configurations on that. Yeah, it's a great, great way to make use of your space, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, of course, there's a lot of space in here anyways. You have these cabinets above, which you can store things in. Mm -hmm. um, and you can also bring, you know, little storage boxes and such of your own. Um, and put them in the top of your closet or, you know, get plastic drawers and put them under your bed. There's a lot of options. Sure. Bob asks, can you point out the electrical outlet and outlets, really, because we have several, mm -hmm. and mention the typical appliances that residents have. Mm -hmm. So let's start with the outlets. Um, I'm just probably, what, about... There's two, two up here, two. two down there. So that's eight. And um, um, there's more right here. So wait, there's two, four, six, eight, ten. Mm -hmm. At least mm -hmm. ten. I think that's, that's and as long standard. is that pretty standard okay and as long as you bring something with a uh, circuit breaker and you don't try to put uh, power strips on top of power strips we're totally fine with you using something like that mm -hmm. but we want you to protect your electrical electrical equipment so get one with a, uh, a circuit breaker surge protector please if you guys okay. want to know any measurements feel free to ask us I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guys know each bed is about 36 inches mm -hmm. wide, and this one's going to be, I think it's about 75 inches long, this okay. one is. Yeah. So 36 by 75 on that one. Um, can we measure this one? Is it possible to? Yeah. I know we have all those measurements. Yeah, we can do this. We've got a couple so, questions um, coming 36 in. as well. Okay. okay. And then, would you mind holding this one in for me? Absolutely. This one's also going to be about 75. Okay, okay. So this is one of the, the, uh, the halls where they're still mostly around 75. Mm -hmm. uh, you can always check movein.uart.edu, and under getting ready to arrive, there's the, the, the uh, mattresses by size by hall. Yes. And that can help you out, and that is accurate. Um, Bob had also asked about the typical appliances that residents have. What did you have? Um, you know, I had a mini fridge and okay. a microwave and a coffee machine, I believe. Mm -hmm. Or a Keurig. Also. Yeah, a Keurig. Mm -hmm. Keurigs mm -hmm. are awesome. They're easy. Mm -hmm. um, that's great if you like coffee or need caffeine to help you study. Sure. Um, we have a service is. where we can rent uh, to you refrigerators, I think, and some other mm -hmm. items like that you can yeah, find as a refrigerator and a microwave um, are sold together and you can split the cost between you and your roommate. Um, and they'll move it up here for you and then they'll take it away for you. Um, so that's a lot of the convenience part of it. Um, other appliances that I've seen um, are kind of like what she said with, um, with everything else. Probably all of our guys bring Xboxes, game consoles, TVs, um, I've seen Alexas or um, I, what are those things called? Google Homes. Mm -hmm. We definitely have some of those. Uh, Roku's, different appliances like that. Um, what else? Desktops. We see more laptops nowadays, but mm -hmm. some desktops. Sure. Um, Jeanette asks, what size are typically mattresses? Yeah, we went over that one. Angela asked, do you need to bring a curtain for your closets? And and I think, yes, you would. Tension rod is our recommended method for mounting those things because it doesn't do any damage to the, uh, the prop, to the, uh, the wooden frame there. Mm -hmm. So what do we have there as a width? It's about 46 and a half. Okay. So if you're doing a tension rod, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. keep that in mind. Yeah, 46 and a half. And so anything that goes like from 30 to 50 would work in right. that space. A lot of times we have students who coordinate with uh, their roommate mm -hmm. about the color of, sh of curtain they would like and uh, the length. Uh, I don't. Do we have a length measure? Maybe. Yeah, we can do that. Mm -hmm. We could do from. How about the? Uh, let's see. We've done a couple of them. Let's do uh, bottom of the of the top shelf. Okay. Do you mind helping me? Absolutely. <laughs> So that is going to be about 76 inches. Okay. Okay. So 76 inches from the bottom there. I think when we measured it from the top, there were about 20 more. Yeah, I think it's about 90, 91. Right. Seems about right. Um, Mackenzie asked, can we get 
measurements of the closets, shelves above. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we did some of the shelves above. So yeah, how much is that? Like between? Something in sure. Between here. It's about nine inches. Nine inches in the shell in that yes. space between. Um, the top one's a little bit bigger, but like we said, it added about 20 inches, so. Gotcha, so about 90, 91. Right. And then um, mirror area, which I guess, yeah, sure. Um, this side, this side. Yeah, about 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, um, go ahead and measure from the lip, yeah. 35. 35, okay. Let's see if there are any other requests there. Uh, and then between for two beds on a rug. Oh, so, yeah. if you want to put a rug in here, what kind of space do you have to work with? Yeah, so most students do it from. Um, between the bed spaces, mm -hmm. which is about 81 inches, and then from the vanity to the desk, okay. yes. which is going to be about 89. Okay, 81 by 89. Is that kind of what we what we saw mm -hmm. there? Yes. Okay, great. Um, what was that? Um, they also have these fun chairs oh, yeah. that uh, come out. They turn into gaming chairs. Um, which there's a lever behind the chair and you just pull it apart mm -hmm. and it comes off and it turns into a chair and then also a table that can is swivel. Very so cool. That's Very pretty cool. fun. Yeah, it's a nice little thing. And I, I don't think it's something you would just know automatically. Right, right. Someone has to show you. Figure that out. Uh, Chris asked about the shelf heights on the over the desk cabinet. So this one's going to be. 10 inches. 10 inches? Yes, okay. on the bottom. And then the top one is 12. 10 and 12 on height. Right. And then watch, I think one length would take us the whole way. Yeah. So that's going to be 40. 40. Okay, great. Thank you. You're welcome, Chris. Um, Mackenzie asks, how do people hang the curtains over the closet? Command strips. You're welcome to use command strips. Like you can use them. You could fill your whole room with command strips. We're comfortable with that because mm -hmm. uh, they don't do any damage to any of the existing stuff. I think tension rods are probably an easier method to get there, but mm -hmm. it's possible that command strips would get you there just as just as well. I'm not as familiar with that method. Please use it if you'd like to. Julianne asks, how high is the third wooden bar on the bed from the ground for lofting with a smiley face? Thank you for the smiley face. Third wooden bar is going to be mm -hmm. um, 32 inches. 32. And it looks like it would connect, you know, on those two right there. So if you were to loft it there, you would say third bar, and they would probably know what you meant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got a couple more questions coming in? Perfect. All right. Um, I think... I think actually that pulls us in. That gives us um, most of the questions. Are there anything else anyone would like to know as long as we're here in this room and eager to measure for you? Mm -hmm. uh, Courtney has been nice enough to answer some questions for us after we go offline. So um, she'll be there and uh, we'll continue this thread if more questions come in. Mm -hmm. uh, Julian asks, uh, also how high is the desk between the beds to the bottom of the shelves? He's thinking about putting, let's see, a lamp under the overhang shelf. So I think we're talking about a lamp that would go under on here. the desk side. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the desk here, but below that. So uh, so just for your information, yeah. we do have uh, lights right here. Oh yeah, let's see, okay. So there is already some lighting. Nice. Um, but we can measure the... Yeah, yeah, we'll measure it. But you do also have the ability to use the light. Yes. It's already built in. It's 10 inches from ten. the bottom to the top of the... So you would need a 10-inch lamp to fit it in there. Yeah. Um, Stacy asks, which bed is A and which bed is B? Stacy, the way we do A and B beds is um, they are not an actual physical bed. There are two positions within the room. Essentially, the roommates can agree to which one will be A and which one will be B. Um, Chris asks about uh, AC and heat controls. 
I believe, yeah. These are located right here. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to differ depending on what room you're in, but you will have the same console and you can adjust it based on uh, the heating and cooling. We do have a central AC system. Um, so in the summer, we're going to run on AC. In the winter, we're going to run on heat. And so sometimes there will be a little bit delay where it might be a little bit too warm or it might be a little bit too cool for a couple of days just because our whole system is rebooting. Uh, but generally, you have uh, from 65 degrees to 75 degree control in your room. So those unseasonable days in March and in November, you're probably going to be a little less than comfortable as we make our decision because we have to, as, as Grace was saying, we turn the system all the way across. It takes a few days for it to cool down to move into the next mode. But during the time that it's cool, you have a lot of control. And during the time that it's hot, you have a lot of control on those so let's see what was the website for loft requests um it was housing.uart.edu forward slash uh fix it all of our maintenance requests and this is a maintenance request go through that system um we'll try to link that in the show notes so to speak yeah. um let's see jeanette asked if you don't loft your bed all the way will you have that bar and i'm trying to remember i how that the the bar right here Yes, so you are always going to have this bar. What it is called is a stabilizer bar. And that's because um, we have different sort of systems of like, if you see th this is a connection. And so it's meant to stabilize your bar, uh, your bed when getting on and off of your bed. So it, it doesn't wiggle too much. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that's something that's really on every single bed. Mm -hmm. um, it's for your own safety. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, hey. Mackenzie, Woo Pig Suey, back to you. We're happy to help you. It's our pleasure. We're so excited you're coming. Uh, do you have any, before we sign off, do you have any final words to say to our incoming Humphreyites? Or what's it? Is it Humphrey, Humphreyans? Humphreyites? I've never said it like that, but I am very <laughs> excited that all of you are going to be here. Um, we really can't wait to have you guys. We have a ton of events. Our resident assistants are excited for you guys. They're gonna go through and they're gonna get trained and ready. And like I said before, so many events, so many ways to get involved and so many ways to get you guys successful academically and personally. Thank you very much. And uh, sign us off there. Yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, check our calendar to see which tours we're going to be giving next. And we're really excited for all of you here next year.